At a contentious press briefing on Friday morning, UK Prime Minister Liz Truss was asked point blank by a reporter why she would get to stay on in her role, despite failing to fulfill a key campaign promise. A reporter pointed out that Truss had fired Kwasi Kwarteng, the UK's finance minister, after the proposed tax cuts for the wealthy fell flat politically and economically, and asked why she should be spared the acts. Truss had pledged major tax reforms that have been key to her elevation to PM that she is now walking back begging many questions of why she should still hold the top office in government. She has served in her current role only since early September. Thank you, Prime Minister Harry Gordon's son. You were the one that wanted to cut the 45p rate. You stood on a platform to win the leadership of the Conservative Party on a platform to cut corporation tax. You and the Chancellor, the ex-Chancellor, designed this budget together, in lockstep, we're told, at times in secret, the two of you, he has to go because of the fallout from it. How come you get to stay? Well, my priority is making sure we deliver the economic stability that our country needs. That's why I had to take the difficult decisions I've taken today. The mission remains the same. We do need to raise our country's economic growth levels. We do need to deliver for people across the country. We're committed to delivering on the energy price guarantee which people are already seeing in their bills. But ultimately, we also need to make sure that we have economic stability, and I have to act in the national interest as Prime Minister. Um, Chris Mason, BBC. Excuse the bluntness, Prime Minister, but given everything that has happened, what credibility do you have to continue governing? What I have done today is made sure that we have economic stability in this country. Jeremy Hunt, as Chancellor, is somebody who shares my desire for a high growth, low tax economy. But we recognise because of current market issues, we have to deliver the mission in a different way. And that's what we are absolutely committed to do, achieving that stability at what is a very difficult time globally. Uh, Robert Peston. Prime Minister, the uh, former Tory Chancellor Philip Hammond has just said that you have totally trashed the Tory party's election winning reputation for economic competence. Will you apologise to your party? Well, I am determined to deliver on what I set out when I campaigned to be party leader. We need to have a high growth economy, but we have to recognise that we are facing very difficult issues as a country. And it was right in the national interest that I made the decisions I've made today to restore that economic stability so we can deliver First of all, helping people through this winter and next winter with their energy bills, but also making sure that our country is on the long-term footing for sustainable economic growth. 